In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to set up a Nikon DSLR in Snapshot Studio Professional in Standard Edition. We'll be doing our demo on a Mac today, but the setup essentially will be the same on your Mac or Windows computer. So we'll go ahead into the photo booth setup. And at this point, you should have your Nikon DSLR uh, powered on and plugged into your computer. And we'll go ahead right into the DSLR camera control setup, which shows us the basic information about our camera, the model, uh, the battery level, aperture shutter, ISO, exposure mode, which we have set to program, image format, which is set to JPEG. Uh, you want to make sure that you use any of the JPEG image formats and not RAW. Uh, raw files will not work with Snapshot Studio, or RAW plus JPEG uh, will not work either. Media card, we don't have a media card in the camera at this time. It doesn't matter if you plan on doing stills. You do, however, need a media card in your camera if you choose to do video. Uh, a couple of uh, things that we need to set up on the camera itself are um, the... Uh, autofocus mode. We have it set to a wide autofocus uh, mode. Uh, this will prevent autofocus failures uh, during our sessions. And we've also set the live view timeout to its maximum, which is about 15 minutes on the camera. So we're going to set our live view timeout just below that, say about 14 minutes on Snapshot Studio. Uh, the reason why we do this is it's better if Snapshot Studio times out the live view for you rather than the camera falling off and timing it out um, on its own. Uh, you may lose one session with live view as a result if the camera times out before Snapshot Studio um, cuts the live view for you. So we'll go, go ahead and turn on the live view and we have our little subject ready for her photo. Uh, you might want to turn on live uh, the, the mirror for the live feed and we'll go ahead and do a test capture and there we go so it looks like we're all set to go okay and we have a couple of layouts already set we'll set our countdown timer to three. Uh, we'll leave the ready message delay to zero. The countdown timer will actually count down from three uh, backward to, uh, to smile, basically. The ready message delay uh, gives us a certain amount of seconds before the countdown starts so your subjects could uh, prepare themselves. We'll just jump in. And there we have it. We have our subject. With the photo and we'll do a sample strip. one photo that's two photos and then the third on the strip there we go okay now what you had seen the uh, uh, the live view layout. Uh, basically what's happening here is uh, we have the ability to um, show our overlay uh, within the image if we choose to do so. Uh, we could also turn that off and this is a little outside of the scope of setting up our camera but it's important to note. 
go into page graphics, we can disable the live view overlay. And save that. And there we go. The live view overlay is essentially disabled. Now there are a couple of features that we can use. Uh, we can uh, uh, call the uh, session from launch, uh, which um, takes us uh, immediately into a session from uh, the launch of Snapshot Studio. Uh, we can auto start from selection, which we'll do around right now. Uh, so let's uh, let's go in and save this. So what we'll do is we'll select this and basically once we select the image, it's going to immediately go in and start uh, the countdown without the need of pressing a button. There we go. So the user selected their layout. It goes right in, takes the photo, and cycles through the session. OK, now the other feature, which will launch a session right from startup. So basically, once Snapshot Studio starts up, it's all set and ready to go, bypasses the start screen, and you jump right in and take your photos. Uh, this is a great feature if you have Snapshot Studio um, in your startup uh, folder or set to uh, launch uh, when your computer boots up. It makes it a heck of a lot easier instead of having to manually click through and play with your settings. And we'll go ahead and we'll also turn off the countdown timer for users who want to uh, run their photos as quickly as possible. So there we go, we jumped right in, we launch it. Now I want to know, uh, if you don't have a countdown set, and it's taking photos as fast as possible, uh, you'll get um, the, your live view may not have enough time to kick back in. Certainly with the Nikon cameras, this is true. If you allow a few seconds in between, uh, your live view will continue to uh, kick in and, and flow smoothly. Um, but uh, with the countdown set to zero, uh, the live view barely has a moment to engage. And that's it. That is uh, setting up a Nikon DSLR with Snapshot Studio, uh, professional and standard versions.